You don't want to just be known of, you want to truly be known. I always tell him we live in a world of comparison and distraction, and you got to take pride in yourself, who you are and what you believe in. He said, I've heard of certain superstars in the past, like guys that are retired now, that they might have a ring, but their teammates hate them. They might have a ring, but like they don't have friends. He goes, we lost in the playoffs. Everyone forgot about it. And he was just like, man, is that what I should be basing all my success on? Is that what really, really matters? You want people to know who you are and know what you're about, not just know of you, that you were a champion, that you were an all-star. And he said, Phil, I started thinking, like, what were my favorite moments in Portland? And he said, there was a guy on our team, he was trying out for the Trailblazers, a little rough around the edges, like, cause he wanted to make the team. He said, I, I just tried to help the guy and the guy didn't have much. And he goes, so I wanted to buy him some suits and shoes for when he goes to the preseason game. And he goes, Phil, this guy didn't even know because of the country he grew up in, didn't even know his shoe size and dress shoes. He had never worn them before. He goes, so I got it for him, even though it's a little rough at times or maybe made some comments I didn't agree with. He goes, but I wanted to help that guy. And he goes, Phil, the moment that stood out to me the most, which might be worth more than a championship some days, that guy got cut and didn't make the team. He came up to me and Dame was like, well, what, what can I do for you? He goes, I want you to know you're the best teammate I ever had. What you did for me was unbelievable. And Dame told me, I remember we were driving in the car, he told me, he's like, those moments matter just as much as a championship.